Thinkware F790 and Thinkware F200 Pro. Is the Thinkware F790 worth the extra money? Well, let's explore some of the key differences between these units. So the F200 Pro is a 1080p front and rear dash cam resolution. It also supports parking mode. External GPS is available for additional money, which will give you safety camera alerts, speed data and location, but it's all for an additional charge. It also comes with a 32 gigabyte SD card, which will give you approximately two hours of continuous record time. It does have super night vision, but the super night vision only works in parking mode. Some of the major upgrades when you go to the Thinkware F790 is you're gonna get the same thing, a 1080p front and rear camera, high dynamic range. You can turn the microphone on or off easily right through the back of the unit instead of going to, into the app like you have to on the F200 Pro. You, it flush mounts to the windshield nicely while the Thinkware F200 Pro, as you can see, it mounts on an angle and sits away from the windshield. The cable management tends to look a little bit cleaner because the one cable actually comes right out of the unit instead of having to plug in multiple plugins on the Thinkware F200 Pro. The F790 also has de-warping video technology, which minimizes image distortion. With the 32 gigabyte card that comes with the F790, you will get approximately 3.5 hours of continuous record time due to the fact it's using the new HEVC file formatting. Now the GPS antenna is not external, like the F200 Pro, which like we said, is available for additional charge. It's actually built in, okay? It's built in, which will allow for location, time, and speed to be embedded in your videos. You can also shut off speed data if you don't want that information there at all. The F790 also has the five gigahertz bandwidth available. So when you're downloading videos, you can download them a lot quicker. While the F200 Pro doesn't offer this, and let me tell you, from my tests, you're downloading videos probably in a third to half the time that you would on an F200 Pro. So it's quite quicker. The other big benefit is if you drive at night frequently, you can opt to turn super night vision on even while driving on the F790. While the F200 Pro, it will only work in parking mode. These are some of the major differences between the two units. Now, Let's dive in. I'm going to show you some video quality comparisons between the two units. Okay, so we're going to start out with the Thinkware F200 Pro uh, driving through a downtown mission at night. And you can see the difference in detail there. We're now going to go to the F790 as it's driving through at night. And you can see a huge difference in the detail. We're we'll slow it down here. If you see the sign, when we come back to the F790, watch the detail of the big box outlet store sign. You can actually read the whole sign, which you couldn't do with the F200 Pro. And now we have, we're just going through a tunnel, just showing this difference between how it shifts between different lighting conditions. And the F200 Pro and F790 do very well at this. And uh, that's a big test of the HDR and the high dynamic range with the F790. And here's just us driving through Vancouver with the F790, just showing you, you know, how accurate it is, trying to give you a little bit of the um, de-warping video technology, showing how the buildings are a little bit less stretched than a lot of the predecessors that they had. So now we're gonna actually test the current draw when going into parking mode of, of motion detection and of energy saving mode, which is impact only. So we're gonna start here with the Thinkware F200 Pro, which as you can see, when we go into motion detection, it is drawing about 190 to 200 milliamps of current draw. 
Now, when we go to energy saving mode, which is impact only, we're drawing about 130 milliamps of total current draw in parking mode. When we go to the Thinkware F790, we're drawing a little bit more than uh, the other one, but not much, but it's 220 to 230 milliamps of current draw. Now, this is the big change. This energy saving mode, which is impact only 14 milliamps, it's nine times more efficient than the F200 Pro. Now, one of the benefits of the Thinkware F200 Pro and the Thinkware F790 is this little add-on box. It's a multiplexer box. Now, you might be thinking, what's that for? Well, guess what? You can now have not one front camera and one rear camera. You can have a total of five cameras with this box. So I even did one client's vehicle in a Honda Accord. He has uh, two interior cameras, one firing out the rear, one monitoring his trunk, one monitoring out the front. I uh, have another client in the States that actually did two side cameras on the side of his vehicle, plus has a front viewing and rear viewing camera. So you do have quite a few options when you are looking to add one of these on. This is an additional charge, an additional accessory. However, there is different ones. There's even exterior cameras that are available. There's lots of different options. But just one of the little fun things of something you can do with either one of these two units. So now that we've seen the multiplexer and how that works, now let's go into the cons of the F790. So one of the cons on the F790 is the thickness of the rear cable. So when we actually take these two cables, the F200 Pro and the F790, the F790 cable is twice the thickness of the F200 Pro. So when you're running your cable from the front to the rear, it's going to be a little bit harder to run the cabling, depending on your vehicle, how tight the paneling are is. I've already done about six vehicles of these units already in about the last month. And we're, we're seeing even on a couple vehicles, it just seems a little bit tighter to navigate and to run the wiring through. So I will say this, it's probably going to be highly recommended to get professional installation when purchasing this unit, just due to partially due to the thickness of the cable. However, we don't know what your installation experience is, so maybe you will be completely fine with it. And also it depends on your vehicle, how tight your paneling is. One of the other cons is how tight the mount is. So right here, it's not, it's a positive and a con. So, you know, you have to like, it's on here and it's like very hard to take off the mount. And basically the reason why it's tight is because they want to make sure the image stabilization isn't, isn't a worry. They want to make sure to reduce vibrations. However, if you're somebody who likes taking your dash camera off, let's say every night and bring it in because you're worried about it gets stolen, which honestly, I've only ever had one customer ever that had that and they left their door unlocked and they were in a really sketchy area. And so, I mean, honestly, I haven't really seen it being a big concern in terms of people going around stealing dash cameras. But if you are someone who's like that, I would not recommend purchasing this unit. It's just, it's way too hard to take off the mount, especially on a frequent basis. You know, um, the other thing is, is I would make sure to mount it in such a way that you have easy access to the SD card on the side, because if you block this and then knowing already, it's going to be hard to take it on or off. What's going to end up happening is you're going to end up breaking the mount, breaking the camera, or something's going to end up happening when you try and pry on it too hard. So really you don't want to have stuff like that happen. This is a pretty solid unit. I'm actually pretty impressed with the video quality. I think it's better than the predecessor, the F800 Pro. The only thing it is lacking is cloud features. However, I don't really feel that 99% of the market even uses cloud technology. So I kind of think it's a non-issue, but people who are cloud users may be going, well, where's the cloud technology? Well, cloud technology needs to start going up to the 2K and 4K systems if you actually want to have those features on the Thinkware lineup. Anyways, 
Needless to say, I think the F790 is is well worth it. It's a step. It's a huge step up on the F200 Pro, and well worth the investment. And that's why it's one of the top ones I'm starting to recommend to all of our clients going forward. Anyways, if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to us. We are here to help you out. Thanks a lot.